Hey, I believe uh, Nick Batum. I think Nick Batum is an excellent role player, bro. Being that the Sixers are without Embiid now, um, I'm not sure for exactly how long, but I don't know if they are a a a championship caliber team without Embiid. But I feel like if Nick Batum was to go to a a team that he would be able to be in control of that second unit, I feel like he'll be huge. Um, this may sound like a little biased, but I feel like a team like the Warriors. Um, he can be that dominant. Not even, I would, not even a Warriors because they got committed. Hey, come here, homeboy. I'm messing them. Sorry about that. I got my homeboy in the background. Come over here, dude. In the home, in the background. Uh, adding his background noise and stuff. Oh, you're getting the video. Or you good? Bless you. But yeah, I feel like Nick Batum. Uh, I was gonna say the Warriors, but the Warriors got two key uh, small forwards. They got um, Kaminga and Andrew Wiggins. So that'd be kind of tough. Uh, another caliber team that he can. That's very hard, but I feel like if Nick Batum, Nick Batum goes to the right team, he can be a, a X factor. Uh, if he goes to a championship team, I think he'll be able to be that X factor off the bench. Uh, I remember I seen him one game live and he went crazy and ever since then I've been kind of like locked in on him. It was a game I, I was in Miami. I went to I want to say he was probably still playing with Charlotte Hornets. I could be wrong. I could be right. And I paid attention to his game and this dude literally was hitting everything off the screens. Um, I think he's a very good off the screen shooter, spot up shooter. Um, his size make him a mismatch so I think Nick, Nick Batum on the right team and on the right second unit, he could be a, a huge X factor because I feel that he can score as he please, in my opinion. It's your boy JB. I'm out.